What's up, fine people of YouTube? I'm Trucker Jim, and welcome back to the trucking journey. I'm, uh, well, I'm not on the road right now, as you saw at the beginning of this video, and maybe some of you guys saw on Facebook. I had a little emergency room visit yesterday. That's right, not a cool thing. I was, uh, bleeding in internally, which is a condition called diverticulitis I developed a few years ago. I think it's because of goodie powders I used to take, ate little holes in my stomach lining, and I believe what caused my bleeding problem was strawberries. Go figure! Who would have thunk a strawberry could put a hurting on you? But when you have little holes in your polyp, I mean, uh, they're called polyps, but little holes in your stomach lining, well, those little seeds and strawberries, raspberries, things like that can get inside there, irritate it, and you start bleeding internally. And it comes out black and absolutely nasty. Don't worry, don't have any uh, little video clips of that to show you guys. But I'm at Misty's now, and I want to give a huge shout out to my girlfriend. I am a lucky, lucky man. She's a rock star in so many ways. After working a 16 hour shift, Elvis had stopped at a truck stop because he got worried, worried about me, called an ambulance. They took me to Athens, Georgia, but I stopped eating immediately when I, I noticed the blood and they put a, a Nexium drip. There's some more scientific name than Nexium. Misty can probably tell you in the comments what it's really called. But uh, after about an hour of that, I guess it stopped. My levels were okay, so they told me to get the hell out of there, that they're not admitting me, which I didn't have a car. Um, Elvis was gone, and I was in Athens. So my Uncle Bill, he came and picked me up, me and him and my cousin Chris, we had breakfast, and then Misty met us and brought me back here while I rested most of the day. And she got very little, if any, sleep and went and did a 12-hour shift. She's almost here now. You know, we've got the My Friends app so I can track her location. But don't worry, guys. She can track mine as well. But I'm grilling us some pork chops for breakfast. Look at that. They're going to be good. And they got that bone licking sauce on them. I was going to scramble some eggs, but hey, Misty, add eggs to the grocery list because we are out. Wee! These are some thick pork chops that came from the butcher's box. So it's supposed to be from like healthy pigs that are on a, a good healthy diet, but these should be ready right about the time Misty gets here. Uh oh, and Elvis is also on the way to come pick me up. Uh, he's already picked up a, a live load this morning, so he's coming to grab me, because, well, my car's at the terminal, I can't drive there and Misty's gone. And then we're headed to Laredo, baby! And then I guess we'll get a load back to Greer, get back maybe Friday or so. It's going to be kind of a short week for us. We ended up with over 6,000 miles last week. My little crazy turn of events getting, you know, sent to the emergency room and everything. Put us behind a little bit. We're actually going to be starting with fresh clocks, but we're not going to use it all because the plan is to leave back out Sunday night sometime and get back Friday. And we're going to do that for a little while. Not going to be great miles doing that, but it's going to be good home time involved with it. Like if we just go to Laredo and back, Laredo and back, that'll put us at 5,000 miles. If we can uh, maybe get two El Paso runs, that'll put us at 6,000 miles. What I'm hoping for, what would be cool is one of each. would be about 5,500 miles and have the weekend off. It's not a bad gig. Not a bad gig at all. I don't know if she's gonna want any, but just in case, I'm brewing some, uh, some coffee. Gonna blend up some keto coffee. Between her and Elvis, I'm sure one of them will want a cup. I'm already had my cup. There she is. Welcome back, Rockstar. Yeah. That is absolute perfect timing. Let's check it out, people. Look at those. I would say they are ready. Got to make sure they're done because they're they're pretty thick pork chops. All right, 
YouTube. I am back at the grill yard. We're getting ready to head out to Texas. But before I do, let me show you guys something. Check out this truck. This is a Mack. Yeah, that is a wrap with the American flag flavor. But check this truck out. But apparently, this truck is for sale, and I think it's fairly new. Don't ask me in the comments how much it is. I don't know. You'll have to contact GNP for that, but apparently there's going to be a few more of those available in the near future. But as far as something else that is available in the extremely near future, that is trucking jobs that's right regional trucking jobs doing your reset at home every week kind of trucking jobs bringing home over a thousand dollars a week kind of trucking jobs and right now and you know in a normal hiring area of course we've got positions available but we're looking for i think it's three immediate positions in alabama around the birmingham tuscaloosa area not too far off of i-20 Hey man, and you know you have to have the right situation. Like I, I leave my truck here at the terminal when I'm on home time, but these drivers are going to be allowed to take their truck home. Or if you don't have a suitable place, there are uh, a few southeastern freight line yards that you can probably use as well. But any kind of Alabama drivers that's interested in that, want to learn more information, recruiting's info is in the description box. Their phone numbers there. The website if you want to go ahead and apply but if you call them for recruiting ask for Susie she's a great recruiter she'll be straight up with you but the regional pay here is a uh, pretty good with the mileage bonus and everything if you have a 3,000 mile week depending upon your experience you can make up to 52 cent a mile not too bad and home time is generally not a problem not in my experience anyway but guys I'm gonna hop in the truck we're going to start heading to Texas, and Elvis is driving first, so that'll give me time to edit this video. But for everyone that left uh, comments on my Facebook page about my little medical situation yesterday, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate the love. Hope all of you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. But until then, be safe out there, and keep on trucking. A minute we can't end this video yet you guys haven't heard from Elvis himself in the last video I assured you we would have more Elvis time so without any further ado here's Elvis. What's happening friends this is old David D Elvis himself and I just want to give a little quick a little something there a little something see if I got anything intelligent to say probably not <laughs> anyway I just want to also I want to give a quick shout out to my Facebook friends and my real friends. But anyway, friends, this week's and been... And your YouTube friends. Yeah, and my YouTube friends. Sorry about that. Sorry, Jim. And my YouTube friends. Anyway, we've had a little exciting couple days. Uh, riding down the road the other day and, you know, Jim looks like he's, you know, he's doing all right. But then uh, a couple hours later, he kind of looks like he might be dying on me. So I, I took it upon myself to call the 911 and had him carried out to uh, the hospital there you know he had a little episode and uh, he's good everything's good he just gotta watch what he eats you know I, you know we're eating nuts and strawberries and hot food and you know and and stuff and a couple candy bars here and there a couple candy bars I know I did have a few he, fingers. yeah he ate a couple candy bars and then you know we had we had RC Cola just all kinds of stuff he he probably should never have not just sometimes but never ever have it you know what i mean I think the strawberries <laughs> is what did it those little seeds yeah anyway uh i got nothing friends we're heading back down to uh i think we're i think we're meeting somebody we're starting to do some uh 
expedited work the last couple loads here which is kind of cool because that means you got a good rep where, you, where people got hot loads and they you want to take it from them and bring it back so originally we was headed down to the border again but looks like we're going to meet somebody around Jackson they got a hot load they can't make it back with so we're going to grab that hot load and ride so that's kind of cool because that means they depended on us a little bit which is a good thing that's all I got just remember to uh to do all the things Trucker Jim will ask you to do, subscribe, share, and all that kind of stuff, and recruiting, you know, Trucker Jim's an expert recruiter, you know, and also, I'm thinking about starting a GoFundMe New Year's Eve beach party Florida trip for David D. for Elvis himself, so if anybody wants to start that right now, we could go ahead and start that up and get that rolling, because I uh, thought maybe I might want to spend New Year's at the beach, and in Florida, Daytona Beach or something, or even on the white beaches on the other side of Florida. Either one, you guys could pick it, but if anybody wants to start that GoFundMe page, we might want to start that today and, and uh, see what we can do uh, on that. So, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe someone could take some initiative on that. What do you think, Trucker Jim? I support that. Uh, all right. <laughs> What me, Missy and I are thinking about maybe going on a little cruise to the Bahamas oh, well, listen. that last week of the year. All right, but listen, listen, don't don't give to the Jim and Misty fund. Guy asked first, give it to the David D fund, and if if they happen to be here, that's cool. But listen, you gotta look out for yourself, you know. So, um, I, I really would like to spend New Year's at, at Florida, at, you know, maybe at Daytona Beach or something. So, you guys, you guys, uh, you know, I don't know if this will make the show or not, but I thought I'd throw it out there. Anyway, y'all have a good day. Uh, everything's cool here with us. We're gonna keep on riding. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you're enjoying old the Trucker Jim videos and and hanging loose. You know what I mean? Hanging loose. Take care of yourself. And last but not least, do I get to say it, Jim? Go ahead. Hey, listen. Hey, listen, Jim. You sure I can say it? Yeah. All right. Listen. Be safe out there and keep on trucking. Woo wee. Woo. Come on now. Yeah.